What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Hope you're having a lovely day, a beautiful one today. My name is Justin and today we're going to sit down. We're going to do a song review for today. Listen, I'm going to be honest. I'm done with my session for tonight. It's a week night. I'm going to go to bed in just a little bit. Okay, not like bed, bed, but I'm, I'm getting ready for bed in a little bit. So I was like, let me end with something that I want to hear that I've already heard. This is not a first listen but I would like to share with you guys. So of course I'm gonna to listen to my favorite artist of all time, David Sylvian. Uh, we're going to take probably one of his m most well-known songs from his solo career um, off of Secrets of the Beehive, which is probably my favorite album of all time. Uh, we're gonna to listen to Orpheus. I've covered a few David Sylvian tracks on the channel. I, mo I know most of them. I just, you know, sometimes wanna share things with you guys. So um, you guys share so much with me, and I, I'd like to share a little bit more of David Sylvian with you guys, and it's a great way for myself to end this particular recording session. Uh, Orpheus, like I said, this is probably his most well-known track um, from his solo career, I think. I don't, I don't really know, but maybe it is. And um, I, I, don't, I think this is a song that speaks for itself. I think this is one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard, ever since I first heard it <laughs> years, years and years ago. I was so surprised when I heard this album for the first time. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share it with you guys and I, I hope that you guys enjoy it. Let me know your thoughts, you know, below. Uh, like I said, this is one of my favorite songs. So obviously my opinion is already formed. <laughs> it's been formed from the first time I heard this. Um, I thought it was one of the most perfect songs I've ever, ever heard in my life and something completely different. But, uh, let me know what you guys think. Maybe you're going to hate it. Maybe you're going to love it. That's okay. I, I always say, no matter whether you love it or hate it, at least you gave it a chance. At least you explored it a little bit. You can't grow unless you explore. You can't find new things unless you listen and explore. And I, I think that's what a lot of us are here for. So let's go ahead and uh, listen to Orpheus, David Sylvian. I'll try and keep quiet. I'll try. Firm on this stony ground The wind blows hard Pulls these clothes around I harbor all the same worries as most The temptations to leave Or to give up the ghost I wrestle with an outlook on life That shifts between darkness and shadow I struggle with words For fear that they'll hear but Orpheus sleeps on his back, still dead to the world Sunlight falls, my wings open wide, there's a beauty here I cannot deny and Bottles that tumble and crash on the stairs Are just so many people I knew never cared down below on the wreck of the ship Are a stronghold of pleasures I couldn't regret But the baggage is swallowed up by the tide As Orpheus keeps to his promise And stays by my side Tell me I'm still alive Fires never stop Believe me When this joke is tired of laughing I will be The promise of my office soon
sleepers will row the boat Just you, the weather and I gave up hope But all the hurdles that fell in our laps Was fuel for the fire and straw for our backs Still the voices of stories to tell Of the power struggles in heaven and hell But we feel secure again Such mighty dreams As all they scenes of the promise Tomorrow may bring below. <clears throat> like I've already said, this is, for myself, one of the most beautiful songs that I know. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. This is my recommendation, for lack of a better word, you know, for you guys. And if I can make just two people fall in love with this then my job is done it's almost like how you guys recommend me of course older bands and such and i listen to the band i love the band and sometimes i'll see the phrase of some sort or some variation keeping this music alive through future generations this is in my in a way my way of trying to keep david sylvian's music alive for generations past current and come and coming I love this. This is one of my favorite tracks ever. I've over listened to this, I'll admit, <laughs> but I love this nonetheless. There is such a brilliant atmosphere in the music. The instrumentation, the composition of it all, the way that all the instruments come together from Isham's flugelhorn to Danny Thompson's double bass, woo, to, to, of course, David Sylvian and his deep, dark, mellifluous and melodic voice and the way it guides everything like a spirit through some unknown realm the piano the way that it builds up these chambers and the way that it lets it go like the doors that are opened i think that the atmosphere specifically on this album is so unique and i have not heard anything like it personally or at least that hits me the same way that this album does um and even several of other Sylvian's album's Gone to Earth, of course. Um, that's a great one. That's a really good album as well. Um, Brilliant Trees. Um, Dead Bees. That's a good one too. Even, have I, I haven't heard, actually I haven't heard all of Blemish, I don't think. I may have, but I don't remember it. All of his albums have such a unique atmosphere, but I think that this is one that really stands out to me um, as just beyond brilliant. There's an art technique I think I'm saying it wrong, I probably am, but it's something along the lines of chiaroscuro. Something like that. It's the contrasting of light and darkness, of shadows and, and lights, and when I think about that term and I see different artworks that embody that specific term, I think about this track, I think about this album, the constant shifting between darkness and light, I mean he even mentions it, the, the way that the shadows kind of play around inside of the music, inside of the, the form of it all. The big pause in the middle of the song, when I first heard it, I thought that was one of the most like mind-blowing things that I had heard. The pause in the song actually truly allows for the music to fade out to pretty much complete silence. And then erupting out of that silence is just the brilliant melodies. Once again, the flugelhorn comes back from Isham at that point. 
And it's just this beautiful solo that just guides us um, to, to beautiful skies. I, I think that this is truly one of the most beautiful songs that I know. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoyed it in some capacity. There must be something I think that you had to get from that. Um, that's, that's beautiful to me. Uh, let's go ahead and go over these lyrics really quick. Oh, and before I forget, because I, I meant to mention this in the beginning um, of the video, but I completely forgot. If you do like this song, if you're already a fan of this song, or if you like this one, I highly, and I, if I remember, I will link it below. I'm going to try and remember to link it. I highly recommend that you go and look up Dika G's version of this song, her performance of this song. God, did she do it justice? Did the band do it justice? It is absolutely something to marvel at if you like this song. I think it's absolutely brilliant. And you guys already know that uh, her album, Forget Me Nots, uh, was one of my albums of the year last year let's go over these lyrics standing firm on this stony ground the wind blows hard pulls these clothes around i harbor all the same worries as most the temptations to leave or to give up the ghost so he's struggling with something he's struggling with something <laughs> he says the temptation to leave or to give up the ghost either move on or to die i wrestle with an outlook of life that shifts between darkness and shadowy light i struggle with words for fear that they'll hear who's they but Orpheus sleeps on his back, still dead to the world. Orpheus, Greek poet, most known. Uh, he went to hell to save his wife. Uh, <laughs> sunlight falls, my wings open wide. There's a beauty here I cannot deny. The bottles that tumble and crashed on the stairs are just so many people I knew never care. Down below on the wreck of the ship are a stronghold of pleasures I couldn't regret. But the baggage is swallowed up by the tide as Orpheus keeps to his promise and stays by my side. I see Orpheus basically as his muse perhaps in his writings, in his lyrics, in his music, and as he's working on his art, Orpheus is like his muse that stays by his side. He mentions that, keeps his promise. Although, his muse isn't always there, because he, in the previous verse, says Orpheus sleeps on his back, still dead to the world. So, I think it's, it's this is a track about David Sylvian and his art. Sometimes there's inspiration, sometimes there's not. Sometimes you have to move on, and sometimes you gotta give up. You know, like, I think it's just his struggle with creating art. Perhaps that's true to him. And he even mentions, um, I like this verse when he says, down on the wreck of the ship are a stronghold of pleasures I couldn't regret, um, but the baggage is swallowed up by the tide. So I think he realizes, and he's attempting to get that, that treasure that's in a shipwreck. Perhaps he's had to go through some hardships or heartbreaks, but there is a treasure there that he's used in his music there's some the pain he's transforming that into art and putting that into his art so even though there's baggage there it's it's also inspiring him or helping him to achieve his uh his artistry perhaps something like that i don't know i've never really thought about the i'll be honest i've never like really dug into the lyrics that much tell me i've still a lot to learn understand these fires never stop believe me when this joke is tired of laughing I will hear the promise of my Orpheus sing. I like the fires will never stop. It's like those fires that are are eternally burning. What part of the US, I think? Like there's a place where the fires are just always burning. The fires of his art, his passion, it's never going to stop. All he can do is try to, um, try to use it, transfer it into energy. Sleep or sleep as we row the boat, just you, the weather, and I gave up hope. But all of the hurdles that fell in our laps was fuel for the fire and straw for our backs. Still, the voices have stories to tell of the power struggles in heaven and hell. But we feel secure against such mighty dreams as Orpheus sings of the promise tomorrow may bring. So we talked about the shipwreck before and how there's treasure there. And then here he's talking about rowing the boat. So now we're taking an internal, an eternal, eternal, an internal journey <laughs> to to retrieve those treasures from deep inside this is a very soul searching kind of song he's searching within his soul for these treasures to bring them out and to put them into his music or his other arts tell me i've still a lot to learn understand these fires never stop please believe when this joke is tired of laughing i will hear the promise of my orpheus sing when all the the problems are done when he mentions when these jokes are tired of laughing whenever life is done playing him He's going to hear his muse, Orpheus, sing. He's going to hear that artistry come out. So, 
like I said, I really want to know what you guys thought of the track. This is not really for me to give my thoughts because, I mean, it is, but <laughs> this isn't a first listen, a first opinion. This opinion has been well, well um, formed, solidified, and founded. So please let me know what you guys thought of the track. Like I said, also check out DKG's version. It's very beautiful. Um, and yeah, I would love to read your comments down there. You can follow me on Twitter. You can support the channel on Patreon. And uh, if you listen to the rest of this album, let me know what you thought of it. Just by chance. Hey, I don't know. But either way, enjoy the rest of your day, your night, your morning, your afternoon, your evening, any of those times. And I'll see you later, guys. Bye.